Bailey's won the toss and sent Hillaby Turner's Hall into bat. And it seemed to be a good decision as early in the piece, left arm seamer Samuel Smith was on fire. Here he bulls Zavi Hines for a duck. The delivery wasn't pitched that short to encourage the pull shot and the ultimate price was paid. Hillaby Turner's Hall on this day would rely heavily on their skipper, Natari Levine. Here he is flicking Tyler Narang through square leg for one of his four fours. While Levine was the only batter to reach double figures, he still wasn't the high scorer in the scorebook. That went to extras. Here Narang bowls one of the 27 wides Baileys were guilty of. In the meantime, Smith was doing his thing. This delivery may have been short enough for Jaleen Springer to go on the back foot, but he missed and Smith hit. LBW for a duck. To Shane Watts looked as if he would have held on with his skipper, but he too fell to Smith, driving outside the line and getting an inside edge onto the stumps. Watts gone for eight. Two balls later, Smith had another. The ball did keep a little low on Isaiah Marshall, but it wasn't anything that a front foot stroke couldn't keep out. He's gone for a duck as Smith would end with the impressive figures of 4 for 13 from his five overs. Earlier, I told you about the 27 wides bold, but in all, there were 67 extras, which accounted for more than half of the final total. And runs off of wides were a whopping 59. The wicket seemed to have dried up once Smith was out of the attack, but another seamer, Stefano Springer, helped the cause. The long stop fielder here is blocking our view, but take my word, he bowled down to Jane Blendman for a duck and he enjoyed the celebration a la Sheldon Cottrell. Three legal balls later, Springer had another, a pitched up delivery to O'Hari Maynard and he too is dismissed for naught, one of six batsmen dismissed without scoring. Springer ended with 2 for 13. Levine was still there, however, making a difference for Hillaby Turner's Hall, pulling this delivery to the mid wicket boundary for 4 off of Nathaniel Harewood. But a run out is never what the doctor orders, and that's what happened next. Jamali Prescott playing a nice square drive, but it went straight to the cover point fielder. Lesson to be learnt never run for the shot. Prescott was sent back by Levine, but he was too far gone. Run out for naught. Bailey's introduced Avian Codrington from the northern end, and it brought results. He had the carry row bowl for a duck. That was the ninth wicket to fall. Levine, realizing he was running out of partners, started to push on, swinging Kamani Innes to the square leg boundary for the only six of the innings. But it would be the Sam Innes who got rid of the mainstay, Levine, here trying to pull again, but got the leading edge to be caught and bowled for 32. His innings lasted 52 balls, and he had four fours and a six. Ennis ended with two for eight, as Hillaby Turner's Hall were dismissed for 109 off 22 overs. Mark Seal, CBC Sports.